everyone, my name is Victoria Gately and I'm an artist living and working in Musselburgh, Scotland and welcome to this month's studio talk where it's actually coinciding with my open studio event as part of the Musselburgh Artists Open Studios. So right now we are in my hallway as part of my home studio tour and so I've put some artwork up, you can see my um, a rhino painting behind me which is my latest work and then I've also got some zebras on my coat hooks behind me, just really utilising the space and the objects that were already in it. And then behind me on this side, you can see my Venetian paintings um, from my European travels um, from a few years back. I've made a little introductory space. Sorry, the camera's a bit shaky. There we go. Yeah, little monkey to greet everybody and sign in sheet if you want to sign up for my mailing list as well and then just some leaflets if you want to continue your journey to the other artist um, studios that are open amongst uh, Musselburgh today. So I'm going to take a closer look at my rhino painting. So I'm predominantly an animal artist after a few visits to South Africa. Um, one of my best friends lives there so that's very handy and my first visit there was actually the start of my inspiration for these works. So yeah, so they tend to work in a very crisscross, chunky um, style. This one is acrylic on canvas. And then this is one of my older pieces, this little sassy looking giraffe um, here. So I'm just going to reverse into my studio now. So this is where all the creating, painting, list making, admin etc happens for me um, so it's you know east facing so I get a lot of sunlight which is absolutely great for an artist and I've got wonderful neighbours who do not mind me dropping my paintbrushes downstairs um, <laughs> throughout the night. I'm quite nocturnal because my day job slash night job requires me to work both days and nights so yeah I have some very late nights in here so I'll just move in so start with this wall here there we go so we've got as you can see some zebras and giraffes behind me this painting here was actually featured in uh, my latest exhibition artists at work too which i organized for the national galleries of scotland very popular piece and a very popular exhibition and then just down here i've got two practices um in this studio so first and foremost um, i'm an animal artist but then i'm also an illustrator and this is my Studio Bunny designs. This is my Thistledoo Bunny Slate Heart, which are um, got an introductory offer on them. And then they were going on to my Etsy page after this weekend. Yeah, and so of course these are inspired by my Studio Bunny Alfred, who is like my little muse and top supporter <laughs> when late at night and I'm working in here. Um, yeah, very encouraging with the little nose kisses if I've spent enough time in here and that's my reward for working so hard I guess. Um, yeah, he usually lives in this area but he's um, been moved elsewhere just to allow for visitors to come in without disturbing him because 11 till 4 is when he tends to have his daily sleep so we need him to get that or else he can get very grumpy at me. I don't want that. Um, yeah, so Here's like all my Studio Bunny designs um, behind me. So this is how they usually start. I get an idea and kind of go with it. You can see I've had some pride designs of late, um, inspired by Scotland as well, and just different events of like had a Mother's Design um, just here. You can see just out the window, this is my studio garden. So yeah, on the rare sunny days in Scotland, I will drag my easel downstairs and my neighbours will see me like painting away at a big massive canvas. Um, this is also where I like to grow my vegetables, etc. as well. And I will have flowers out as well for our pollinators because that's also very important. We'll try to be as sustainable as possible in the studio. And of course, yeah, sustainability, environment and animal conservation is very important to me in general. So that kind of is a thought behind my practice too so yeah and then behind me here is the desk area and this is where all the list making 
organising happens. Um, I think those that know me know that organising is probably a top passion of mine as well. Um, definitely always have a project on the go and yeah, I just like to keep really, really busy. So yeah, this is the the brains and lists and charts behind that keeps me going and keeps me on top of everything. So that is, yeah, that area. <laughs> and then we've got some more colourful animal pieces in this corner too. So again, we've got the giraffes, zebras, if I tilt the camera, you can see my elephant here, giraffe, zebras. Again, in a very colourful, square, boxy um, style. Yeah, so um, I tend to like to push the colours as much as possible when I'm painting and be a bit expressive and have a bit of fun with it. So these two here are acrylic on canvas, but this one here is watercolour and gouache on paper. Um, I like gouache because it's like a thicker watercolour and you can make the colours absolutely pop um, more than you would in the usual watercolour. And then we have some meerkats and posters here and this is usually the little books in my pile and I try to make it more of an art space um, for this weekend. So yeah, I'm um, talking to you in between visitors just now. Um, we've had quite a few in but I thought I'd try and get a little talk online and try to push the event as much as possible. So we've got 12 artists exhibiting in the Musselboro Artists Open Studios this weekend, as well as the Musselboro Art Club. Um, if you go onto the website, I'll post in the links below, you'll be able to see exactly who's exhibiting and there's a map so you can find them. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you. Please feel free to pop in and say hello. And please feel free to pop in to see the other artists as well. And yeah, she'll see you there. Bye for now.